All right, so Russ has just released a new song called Small Talk, which is going crazy, especially on TikTok. And I feel like a lot of you guys out there are going to be wanting to make tracks just like this one. That being said, Russ also did release the instrumental for the song as well, which makes my job a lot easier. So I actually downloaded the instrumental and put it inside FL Studio just so I can study it. And as you guys can see right here, I took a lot of notes, all of which will be in the description down below if you guys want to check it out, come back to this video, study it if you're having trouble making a type beat like this one. As well as in the description, there will be a link to the Small Talk instrumental video. Now, the first thing that we need is going to be a vocal sound which I honestly, this vocal sample is amazing and I don't have anything quite like it. So I went to Looperman and found this one right here, which has a very similar feel to it. And honestly, that vocal sample does sound crazy and it's gonna be as close as we can get to the actual sample from the song. So let's go and put that inside of our project and see what we wanna do with it. Now, the one thing that I will say is that uh, this part over here doesn't sound quite in key, I think. Like right here, the uh, I could be wrong, but I think I just wanna be using these four bars right here. And now the sample did tell me that it's in D sharp, but it didn't tell me if it's in major or minor, but hearing this one, it sounds really dark and creepy, which means it's probably going to be in the minor scale. Now here's going to be the only melody that we're going to have inside of this entire track, and it's only gonna be used inside of the hook. Okay, and then in the song, I wanna try and get as similar as I can to it. Uh, I think what made that vocal sample so cool is that it was very um, simple and catchy for the first three bars. And then it had a little bit of diversity in the last part, which I do not have a vocal sample that does that. So what I can do is put this onto a mixer track and then go grab my favorite plugin of all time, which is going to be Shaperbox 2, which if you are interested in this plugin, there's an affiliate link of mine right down below if you wanna go support me. It made a lot to me. Uh, I wanna go over here to this and I wanna go to Instant Remix, see if there's anything in here that I can find. Nope. Okay, so that was loud. But I have an idea for this and I want to show you guys. So I'm just going to be hitting consolidate this track from starts. All right, now one thing you can probably see is that it's very, very loud, which is why I want to do this part and not just use automation. And then just for the final bar over here, get rid of you and uh, we'll mute you for a second. All right, now it's going to lower this volume because it's going to be piercing. Yeah, that'll definitely work. All right, cool. But now I think I actually want to go and chop this up a little bit more. All right, so I know that I definitely want these over here to be chopped up. That should be fine like this. Pull that one on back, get rid of these right there. Okay, so I'm gonna redo a couple of those things right there because I kind of messed up beyond repair. Um, but here's what we have now. I think I got everything working correctly. Oh yeah, I also pitched it up by an octave. <laughs> That's so sick. That is so sick. And again, I am not trying to copy the song at all. I'm not trying to recreate it. I'm just trying to go for a similar feel like Small Talk had. Let's go take a look at back at my notes right now. And again, if you want to go to the description right now and follow along with me while I get the notes, totally fine. It'll be right there in the description. All right, so it's going to be our only melody. It's going to be a vocal lead, catchy four bar loop. Got it with a switch and last bar. Did that with Shipper Box 2. And honestly, that's probably going to be our only <laughs> melody of this entire beat. All right, now time for drums. We're going to be having hard hitting samples, specifically the snare, okay? Usually I have my kicks be louder than everything else, but the snare is going to be hitting like right at zero dB. It's going to be extremely cutting through the mix. And the next thing is going to be two complete completely different hi-hats that sound different from each other. You can clearly tell they're two different hi-hats. So in the simulation hitters pack, which is also in the description, I do have this perk loop right here called Rico. And we'll see how that sounds right now. Ooh, that actually works out really well. So uh, I actually have an idea right over here. We'll have to use it very sparingly, but maybe just do something like this, you know? Oh God, that is so good. That's really nice. Holy crap. Also forgot to mention beforehand that we are at 140 BPM. All right, now let's go create a little bit of a drum and bass pattern. And like I was saying before, very hard hitting samples for your drums. That sounds pretty hard. Honestly, now all that we really need is an 808 because we got our snare taken care of in this uh, Rico perk loop that I made. This one sounds pretty good. I need a medium length 808, so this should be perfect right here. All right, now for this drum loop right here, I wanted to mention that it's going to be basically just a two bar loop copied over and then adding a little bit of variety inside of the kicks and the 808s with a very simple drum pattern only getting busy at the end of every two bars. So let's try going for something like that. That should be good like that actually. And then do something like this. Now for the hi-hat, it's going to be every four-step hi-hat pattern, not every two-step. Just really driving home that point, nothing too crazy there. And then just filling in some of those empty spaces with this hi-hat right here. That should be it, actually.
that's perfect. Okay, cool. So here I'm going to be cutting out 808s and kicks, not really adding too much else right here. Like here I'm gonna be cutting out this 808s and then on this part right here, cutting out the kick actually. And they are not melodic 808s at all. Maybe some ver some variation near the very end like this, but nothing crazy. <laughs> It needs to be a little bit more aggressive than that. We can get like a slightly more distorted one. That one actually will be it. That's good. Oh, woo. and I'm not just saying that because it's hot in here. Right, so for right here, I actually don't want any of that. Maybe this one right there. And then for right here, gonna want that, uh, that kick roll. Mm, that is sick. Okay, cool. I think I actually do want a uh, different snare layered on top of that one, too. Yeah. Alright, so one thing I do want to say as well is that the 808 should be very loud in the mix. Alright, now I think that we have everything that we need to start doing some arrangements. Split everything by channel. Alright, now I did take a whole lot of notes on arrangement for the actual beat as well. Alright, so we're going to have... An 8-bar intro right here with the melody going on, not the kicks, uh, no 808s for sure, don't need that yet. Very simply going over here and grabbing an automation for the volume, and now we're just going to be rising up from the very beginning. So honestly, the hook right here is going to be perfect the way that it is. Don't need to do any changes here. And if you look down at your notes right now, you will see that we have a full 16 bar verse right here coming up. And honestly, for all the verses, this beat basically becomes a no mel. We're getting rid of the melody completely. The drums are basically going to be going on the entire time. We're not gonna have a single part of this, of this song without any drums. So basically the main thing for this verse right now is going to be creating tension by cutting out sounds and bringing them back in. And it sounds like what he did was to actually give, give more room for his vocals, which I don't have any vocals right now, so I'm gonna have to guess to an extent. But you always have those little indicators that you should start doing something different here. Like right here, get rid of all these, except for those. You know, screw everything after that. Yeah, that'll be perfect. Okay, cool. Bring you on back. All right, and then right here, create a little bit more uh, separation between the next part. Get rid of all of these, even get rid of the kick. Here, I want this going up a little bit. All right, so I think that I'm cool with these eight bars right here, but one thing that you cannot do is go over here and think that you're done. You're not just gonna paste it on over. You should find some sort of little thing to change up the pattern for the next eight bars. That should be good like that, actually. Now, that should be cool like that. That should lead us right into the next uh, hook as well. But we need to do one last thing here for the verse, and that's that we need some chants. Now, where am I gonna get some chants? <laughs> I know where I can get them. It's gonna be very hard to find, though. Going over to the Ill Mind packs over here, and uh, they're in here somewhere, man. This could be something. <gasps> that actually could work. <gasps> that could definitely work. All right, so for right here, let's try putting it like right there at first. <laughs> Now the main thing here again is that it's not like random. It's a little bit random where he actually puts the uh, the actual chance. And then for the next part again, a little bit random, just putting it right there. That's, I mean, that's really gonna be it. One thing that I do wanna say is like right here, I wanna go grab some textures and light perk fills. Very, very light stuff here, not like crazy uh, conga rolls or anything like that. Conga's not the right word. It could be like pages flipping through a book, you know what I mean? Something like that. And Ilmine would be the perfect person to have something like that, so let me, oh, there's really, there's a tab right here that says all grunts. I could have just used this. <laughs> Which we actually will use that here in a minute. But let's go and see if we can go find some sort of like perks. All right, I'm gonna go make a very small perk loop using this shaker right here. Going to be reversing it. All right, that should be fine like that. So just grabbing that, putting it over here and hitting control alt C. The reason why I want it in audio form is that I can manipulate it a little bit easier. And then also I wanted it in audio form so I can actually automate the panning as well. I want this to be like right there maybe. That's good, that's better. 
All right, good. And then that will be leading us into the next hook right there. I want to speed this up a little bit more. So basically just copying over the verse and the hook that we have. Basically all that he really did for uh, the second verse right here, it's going to be exactly the same. And then basically just finding a new groove for the grunts. So getting rid of these two right here. I need a new grunt. Something that's completely different from the last one. Perfect. That one right there. Do something like this and then just kind of do it again. Not quite. Maybe like that. That's good. It's gonna be it. The only thing is these uh, need to be stretched out to on time. But that's basically all the variety that he makes for the second verse right here. Now for the next part of this beat, basically just dragging over this hook once again, but then just doubling it. So it's now a 16 bar hook for the last part of the song. Now for the outro, it's only going to be four bars, not eight. Jump's going for the first two bars right there and then nothing in the final. And then going to go grab an automation clip once again. <laughs> That's perfect. That's going to be the entire beat. And that's going to be just about all that I've got for you guys here today. Once again, if you are confused on anything we talked about here today, the notes will be in my description, as well as the links to the instrumental video for Small Talk. So if you enjoyed this video, I ask that you please drop a like down below as it helps me out a lot. And subscribe for more future content. Thank you guys so very much for watching. I really do appreciate it. And I will see you guys in the next one.